I have seen how cancer can be cured. I've had well over a dozen patients who went from stage four to stage zero. My own mother, at the age of 80, had endometrial cancer, a cancer of the lining of the uterus, spread everywhere. Stage four, game over type of treatment. She was 80. Her oncologist told me the treatment would be worse than the disease. Why don't you take her on a cruise, you know, while she's still feeling well and enjoy some time with your mom? And I looked at him in the eye and I'm like, do you know what I do for a living? So we got her at the time on a brand new immunotherapy, jacks up your own immune system. All right, and for my mom, we used diet, we optimized her gut microbiome, we gave her medicines and foods to lower inflammation. And remarkably, she had three infusions of this immunotherapy. Each of them took 20 minutes. They were spaced three weeks apart. So we, we scanned her at the very beginning, cancer everywhere, liver, lung, you, you name it. At the end of week three, we rescanned her, zero. And that was a decade ago. And, you know, I just had dinner with her the other night. A lot of people don't know this. Only five to 10% of cancers are due to genetics. The rest is due to environment, diet, and lifestyle. And when I started out, we just viewed cancer as a problem in an organ with a mutation where the cells go wild. And pretty much you have to destroy the tumor, the cancer, if you want to treat it, hopefully successfully. But usually, it wasn't successful. It might work for a little while, but usually the cancer will come back and kill you. We're moving away from killing the cancer to healing the person.